What's up guys, Johnny here. Welcome back. Today we're out here again at the field doing another test for you. Uh, another blistering 94 degree day, but man is it beautiful. Got the whole field to myself. I know people don't want to come out when it's too hot or what it is, but uh, I'm just happy to be out here flying. Don't get to fly too much, but I enjoy every time I get to come out here and fly. Um, anyways, today what I'm checking out is two different camera angles. Um, if you watched my last video, you might have seen the the video I was doing on the DJI quad. Now, what you might have noticed is my camera angle was not as high on that quad as my normal analog racing quad. So that got me thinking, would I actually be happier with my analog quads if I lowered the camera angle? So usually I fly a 50 degree fixed camera mount. Today I'm gonna to compare 50 degrees to 45 degrees. Can I actually go faster with that lower camera angle? So I feel like it may have been Captain Vanover that really is the one that put this in my mind. I think it was like a couple years ago. Um, everyone two years ago was flying these crazy tilts. We heard guys saying, you know, heads up tilt, doma tilt, etc. And these guys were flying 75 to 80 degree camera tilts. Me, myself, I was probably flying 70 degrees, 65 degrees, something along those lines. And then the trend started happening where people started lowering those camera tilts. And uh, like I said, Captain Vanover's the one that really, really showed it could be done with a low camera angle. That guy was flying with about a 42 degree camera angle and was putting up times that were better than anyone else on a lot of the tracks. So it really showed that as the camera angles have gotten wider or the camera lenses have gotten wider, you don't need the same tilt that we used to. Now what ends up happening is you're, you can slow down easier to take tighter turns, keep tighter lines, be more efficient on the battery, and then make up for it in the rest of the track as long as you can still see uh, as you tilt over. So that's what we're gonna be testing out today, 45 degrees, 50 degrees, um, and see where it goes. Now, someone else has set up a track out here. I don't quite know how it goes, so I'm gonna spend a little bit of time maybe flying around, trying to figure out a way to go on the track. Then I'm gonna fly my 50 degree camera angle, fly that for a while, then try the 45 and see how the lap times compare. So uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, you might notice it's actually really quiet out here. You hear the beep from my charger being done, but there's no generator out here. It's just me, I hear birds chirping. I absolutely love this solar generator. I did a video on it a couple videos ago. This thing's just dead silent out here, provides all the power I need for days. Um, it's been absolutely fantastic. Love flying with this thing. It's really kind of like a pilot's best friend, I guess. Um, I have done a few upgrades to it since I did that video. I now up to 80 amps, which is plenty to do all the power I could ever need. I pulled 1600, 1700 watts through the batteries through that. That worked fine. Uh, the other thing is I put a second battery in there, so I've increased my capacity up to three kilowatt hours of storage, and that's plenty to get me through the day. All right, so with that out of the way, let's get out to the track, start flying, and uh, see if we can find a, a order for the gates that makes sense.
right guys, so today has turned out to be one hell of an interesting day. Uh, it just seems like I cannot fly worth a damn today. So we're gonna try to learn our lesson, just keep going with it. So second arm down on the uh, 50 degree tilt. I broke a camera, broke two arms, broke a motor. I can't even find where this thing is. Just not flying well, but best times I had was a 15-1, had a few of those. Unfortunately, my best laps, I didn't actually record DVR. <laughs> uh, I just forgot about it, didn't do it on purpose. I figured I have a bunch faster ones anyway. I didn't feel like I was going very fast, so didn't think too much of it. But anyway, I'm gonna switch over to that 45 degree tilt. Just try to take it easy for a while, try to get my confidence back flying the track, and then see if I can beat those 15 ones. So let's try out the 45 degree tilt. first battery in it actually felt really good flying with that camera it had a little bit tighter control but it looked weird sometimes my mixing was a little bit off um, and in the end I tried to punch it and then it popped up right into the top of the gate and so far best lap 15.4 best one I had in the end was a 15.1 so it's getting close <laughs> guys three packs in the books 14 7 in there for the 45 degree camera angle i'm really liking it i'm having a few moments where my muscle memory is making me do weird things like i want to roll but it does a roll kind of pop-up move i think just because that camera is a little bit different than what i'm used to but i just want to put through a bunch of packs see if i can get used to it and then see how fast i can go
13 7 guys we got the 13 so i'm feeling really happy about that um overall i think i just want to talk about this i'm really liking the 45 i think i'm going to switch to 45 degrees i'm finding more and more confidence as i'm doing it in the long sweepers going at a high speed so i think i can get used to flying like this uh one of the parts of the tracks that i actually usually really struggle with might surprise a lot of people but it's actually that split ass gate going from the top to the bottom i hit the bottom a lot trying to pull out of it i feel like the lower camera tilt might help me with that maneuver keep from hitting the ground more often and uh you know pull off better times as a result of it so i'm really liking it i think i'm gonna switch i think the lesson there is try out new things you might like it try lowering the camera tilt see if you like it better um a lot of people think you raise the camera tilt to go faster some people think you lower it to go faster so don't be afraid to try new things and uh check it out hope you find this video helpful um i wish i got more flying in at 50 but overall i really like that 45 and uh as the sun's going down we'll leave you some of that juicy juicy dji 50 megabit flying and as always i'll catch y'all next time peace